Because once you see it, you can't unsee it. Once you learn it, it can't be unlearned. Then you'll be initiated. That's the that's the cult of winning we have around here. So let's take a closer look at what we saw this week. So last night I took you to this fair value gap here. I said we would draw up into that and then the buy side and the weekly volume imbalance. So that shaded white area up here. Okay. If it drops just inside of that imbalance and we're expecting a shallow drop, that run is going to be initialized by a institutional order flow entry drill, an IO FED. It's a partial entry to a fair value gap, whether it be a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, or a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. So either or, it's imbalanced because it only offers buy side. And it's one single candle doing it, so it's inefficient in the sense that it's not offered any sell side. But if the market's bullish, it's going to go down into this area here and keep some of that open. We also have a breaker here. So the market trades down into that, but it's coming back in to touch and reprice this candle's high. So once it hits that, then it's permitted to leave that range. Once it trades above this high, this becomes a balanced price range. So we can trust that it's going to go higher. Higher where? To the buy side here and then dig into that weekly volume of bounce, which is what we see it did here. Dropping down into a 15 minute candlestick chart, you can see that we had that institutional order flow entry drill. It drops down here during the morning session. This is a Judas swing. What is a Judas swing? It's a fake move. Okay, so it rises up, creates a three drive pattern. And let's take a closer look at that. This is a classic price action pattern. It's really good uh, to indicate that we're likely to see some measure of retracement. It can be an all out reversal, but because we have unfinished business, which is that weekly imbalance up here, that weekly volume imbalance specifically. So here we have a closer look on the one minute chart. Imbalance refined into that fair value gap here. It drops down in clearing up relative equal lows here. This folks right here, this thing right here, that is a complete model. We have a higher structured, not that it's higher time frame, but a higher structured breaker. Okay, a breaker is a low that has a high to the left of it and a higher high to the right of it. Okay, so it's high, low, higher high. Once this low is broken, it is here. We have an imbalance. That little imbalance right there, that fair value gap that's not highlighted, it's trading up into that and then hitting the breaker. This is also an optimal trade entry. It's also trading into a what? Bear shorter block, which is a closed candle prior to this movement lower. And then look at the delivery here. Boom, speed right down into that old imbalance. Then it creates a consolidation. Is that surprising? No. What time of the day is it? It's New York lunch. So what is it doing? It's creating relative equal lows and then it rallies. What is that going to entice traders to think? That's support. So any long holders, they're going to chase that. They're going to run up into the breaker one more time, which is mean threshold, middle of this down close candle right here, the big beefy longer bodied candle. Midpoint of that and then shifts it lower, attacks the sell side, which is the classic run on New York lunch. It's a stop hunt. That's the macro for the lunch hour and it's using time. We have now classic enticement for retail traders to see that as support. So that, that level right there is going to have a lot of sell side liquidity and the market runs from the breaker down into that, hits it and trades into the imbalance right here, which is institutional order flow entry drill as well. And this is also a fair value gap. This nice, nice little retracement into that and then delivers right into that fair value gap. Moving into the afternoon, we can see that turn here. We rally up, consolidate, and then starts to rip higher. This is your PM session silver bullet. You get two chances here. One, two rallies, and then the final market on close macro, which is the last, uh, it's 315 to 345 in that window. You'll get another opportunity to set up a run for liquidity that has not been managed or engaged for that particular day where the market fills the numbers um, and it runs up, hits the buy side, hits the weekly volume of balance as well, and just beautiful delivery, beautiful delivery. You see this inefficiency here? All of this area here gets repriced to. See that? 
that candle's low trade up into it here a little bit a little bit higher and then trades back down it stops right there why is it stopping right there well it only needs to go down to this fair value gap right there and we already traded up once this candle went down the next candle opened traded up here so this to so this is only inefficient so it needs to only go to that level then it can rally and run to the buy side liquidity pools i mentioned last night this is the power three this is what the daily candlestick look like from 9 30 open small little movement lower rallied up creating a high of the day i'll get into that high of the day in a second and then closing here so we have another classic buy day open decline due to swing rallies up closes on the high working that fair value gap the 930 open was essentially near the low of that shaded fair value gap you have to try to see where prices needing to go to next. Who benefits the most? If smart money benefits by price going higher, you can look for retail traders to get punished. What would that look like? Relative equal lows, retail sees that as what? That's a classic support to them, right? They take it down to take those stops. Why would those sell stops? Be advantageous to be liquidated because smart money will buy those sell stops they'll be the counterparty to that sell stop being activated they're buying that price allows smart money to be the counterparty to those sell stops being engaged so when those sell stops get tripped there's a flood a rush of selling orders in the marketplace which is beautiful for smart money to accumulate that and be buying at a cheaper low price then it rallies and it attacks what the buy stops above here who would have buy stops above that the people that were momentarily lucky they don't take partials they don't take profits they don't have to get out of the marketplace at the right time their stops is resting right above here in the form of a buy stop so offset distribution occurs with smart money buying the sell stops selling some above this high selling some above here above here and above here and they liquidate that which gives what the retail traders, the liquidity to be a buyer of when they're chasing price. The algorithm will set up scenarios where retail traders with that mindset will fall victim to it. And you don't want to be in that category.